Hi, I know that I deleted all the videos on my channel. I'll talk about that later. Right now, I'm gonna talk about a short hike because fuck you, okay? It's my channel, I can do what I want. A short hike is a video game developed by Adam Robinson Yu and nobody else. That's right, my favorite video game of all time is an indie self-published open world 3D platformer. The music was done by Mark Sparling, though. This is going to be a bit of a quick speed run of a review, because as charming as this game is, it's really short, being only about an hour long. But I promise it's still worth your $8, okay? Just trust me, bro. I also overanalyze a lot of stuff about this game, because I'm an AP English, and I like creating meaning out of nothing when it comes to things that I actually like thinking about. The most immediately distinguishing feature of the game is its visual style, which appeals to early PlayStation 1 and Game Boy Advance games. This is because the game is put through a filter that makes the pixel sizes large while the number of rendered pixels remains the same. I think this is an interesting choice because it hammers home the nostalgic or cozy feeling that the developer wanted to induce with the game. Of course, I'm just overanalyzing what's really a simple choice because I'm an asshole who reads into everything too much. You can change the filter's pixel count or even disable it altogether, but I like to keep it on because I like how the game looks with it on. It just reminds me of a GBA game, and it's amazing. The entire game is played through a collection of fixed camera points in an open world. It's similar to early Resident Evil games, but with a network of camera points rather than distinct points. By this, I mean that the camera will smoothly flow through the points rather than cut between points. It's not very important, but I think it's a nice replacement for an over-the-shoulder or fixed isometric viewpoint. I think the simple polygons and lighting of the game are emblematic of the simplicity of its premise, gameplay, and setting, but I'll talk about that in a few minutes. The music is a highlight of the game. It's composed by the aforementioned Mark Sparley. Each song has a long hike version and a short hike version. I have no idea what causes each version to play, but I assume that it has something to do with the time spent in an area or in the game overall. There are also piano versions of most of the tracks in the game, but I think those aren't in the game and are only available on Spotify. It's, um, 12.40 AM and I'm writing off of pure instinct, okay? Give me a break. The music is whimsical and cheery for a good part of the game, but as you ascend the mountain, the warm tones of the forest and beaches turn into icy notes that embody the climate of the mountain above the tree line. By saying this, I'm by no means detracting from the music, but I think that they kept it simple for a reason, and whether it was budget or not, I think that the music is perfect as it is. This is because the premise of the game is incredibly simple, so, you know, the music's simplicity fits the premise in a good way. You don't need to make, like, Beethoven's Twelfth Symphony for a game about a bird climbing a mountain. After hearing me talk about the music and the visuals of the game, you have to be wondering, is the gameplay actually good? Because as we all know, none of that really matters unless the game is fun. The short answer is yes, the gameplay is good. The long answer is yes. The gameplay is good because the game has so many options for exploration and events and miniature quests that just make the game feel so much more realistic. You play as Claire, a bird of an indistinct breed, but that doesn't really matter regardless. You can run, jump, walk, and eventually climb and fly. While these core mechanics are simple, they're effective because, as in many games, the fun comes from the designers being able to take a goal in simple mechanics and creating different ways to use the mechanics to accomplish the goal, which is obviously climbing to Hawk Peak. You don't have to climb to Hawk Peak immediately. You can take your time, collect 20 seashells for a girl, find the smaller shovel for the tyrannical child constructing a sand city, talk to an artist painting the islands, go fishing, and more before you reach Hawk Peak. Believe me, I've played through this game about three times by the time this video comes out, with one of them being a 100% run. The main focus of the game is to climb Hawk Peak, so you can use your cell phone. 
And to do this, the game gives you absolutely no tools or hints at all. You have to engage with the NPCs or read signs in the game to figure out ways to reach the top, but there is a main trail to Hawk Peak. You can definitely figure it out if you don't talk to NPCs or interact with the game, but I like to regardless. Eventually, you'll reach a point you can't pass without flying. And to be able to flap your wings and climb walls, you need golden feathers. Golden feathers can be found around Hawk Peak Provincial Park, given as rewards for quests, or just bought from some NPCs. There are also two silver feathers, which increase your jump height and how long you can climb with your feathers, or your stamina, rather. There isn't much in the way of story, so I'm not going to talk about it. Instead, I'll be talking about today's sponsor, me. It's literally just me. I stream sometimes. Uh, come watch. They're okay, I guess. I don't know if anyone else watching this, as few of you as there probably are, feels this way, but I think this game appeals to me on a personal level because I, like so many people, was born and raised in an entirely urban environment. A lot of people, like me, probably like the woods and leaving the city in general. I know I do. This would also explain why a lot of people like to watch videos like Xander Budnick's, where he just walks out into the forest and goes camping, he talks about what he's doing, his goals, the forest and the lake themselves, and he just kind of lives in the moment. Even thinking about wanting to leave the city fills me with visions of driving into the Olympic Mountains with my girlfriend while blasting Trevor Vaughan. Go stream his music, it's amazing. But I'm straying too far from my tangent. I think this game allows for a certain quality of idealized escapism to the forest and mountains that we might not be able to visit because we have no time or money. I really like the woods because they're quiet a lot of the time, which is a complete contrast to my life in the city. As boring as that life is. A short hike offers an escape from the hustle and bustle of the city in a way that no other game, except Abzu, has. By the way, the game is entirely aware of this. Its introduction cutscene has Claire's aunt, Ranger May, say that maybe getting away from the city will be good for Claire. I think an escape from the city like this would probably help all of us who live here. I know that the vision this game captures is extremely idealized, and I'm okay with that, because that's part of what makes this game feel truly special. Okay, now that I'm done ranting about the forest, it's time to conclude. I know this video wasn't very long, but it's kind of a way for me to come back to the YouTube channel without being all... Bleh. Really, a lot of stuff has just happened, and long story short, I worked on a video for 9 months, it was over 80 gigabytes, and then I just stopped. It's not very important to you why I stopped. I said I'd talk about this, um, I deleted all my videos because I thought they wouldn't fit with the more analytical style of content that I want to pursue. Just go play a short hike, it's very good. I think you'll like it. Maybe set it aside for a rainy winter day <laughs> next year because it's January 26th and I wrote this in like November. Uh, anyways, set it aside for a rainy winter day where you're home alone, curl up in a blanket in front of your computer or console or whatever you play on, and just visit Hawk Peak Provincial Park. I hope you enjoy your stay.